What's good, YouTube? It's Rage Real. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be bringing y'all exactly how to run my coverage defense that locks up pretty much any trips or double sets. So if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and smack a like on the video right now. Go ahead and sub and turn those post notifications on. So um, before I do get into video, I want to go ahead and announce the giveaway winner. Because if you remember, I told you last video, um, I believe it was the last video, I told you this will be the video that I'm using whenever... I want to see who wins so i'm gonna be using a comment generator so on your screen right now you'll be able to see exactly what i'm looking at so we got the comment picker right here so i'm going to scroll down and what it's going to ask me to do is going to ask me to enter in the video so i copy and paste the video which you're about to see here in a second so you see right here we are going to copy and we are going to paste it right there now we're going to scroll down we're going to turn on filter duplicate users so that way uh, people who comment multiple times uh won't have a unfair advantage so right here we are going to go and start and see who we pick so it looks like the winner is going to be james uh conklin <laughs> i forgive forgive me if i butchered your name but you see right there he is on ps4 so congratulations goes out to you but without further ado let's go and hop into this video so again i do want to say congratulations for one of my giveaway so if you want to be entered in my giveaway all you need to do is comment hashtag ps4 and hashtag xbox on the video that i tell you i'm going to use for the comment uh generator so like i said please make sure you do that it's a month-long giveaway for those y'all that don't know it might be new i'm doing a giveaway just to get back to y'all because around this time is when i first uploaded my first video on youtube and that's where my journey started and i'm just you know it's my, it's my way of saying thank you thank you for rocking with me thank you for taking the time out your day to watch my videos i know you don't have to even though madden's in a bad state you still check out my videos and man that means a lot to me but um also one thing i do want to say is um another thing i mentioned in my video is that i will no longer be doing forex just throughout the video that was only just a one-time thing i don't want y'all to think that i'm doing it every video or something but like i said what i will start doing i will start including that at the end um so if i have any updates any major things i'd like to tell you i will put that at the end such as how much i'm making such as the maybe a strategy that i'm using that i really like so just things of that nature so just comment let me know if you like that type of things but also also at the end of this video i will be going into practice mode and i will be showing you guys exactly how i run my coverage setup because in my gameplays to shorten up the time um i normally don't show my setups it's i don't show them just because i don't want to show y'all i do it just so i can make the video a lot uh, smoother and a lot shorter so that way it's not like a 30 40 minute video because nobody wants to sit and watch through a 30 minute or 40 minute video but right here you see we are going through the dolphins roster uh he does have shaquille barrett um he does have jordan hicks right here 83 speed he does have 89 linebacker uh he got dick beasley right right and at cornerback he does have 93 90 91 and 88 and 90 speed uh, he had, does have Justin Simmons, who's actually really good. He's slow, but he's not. Um, he's still very viable. You see, he does have Adrian Amos. So my opponent really does have a God Squad. I didn't say God Squad team, but he has really fast secondary, and it should be a good game. So right here, we as you see, we are going to kick off the ball, which, as y'all know, I love kicking off because that means I get ball at halftime. We get a monster hit stick right there. So. Like I said, this is really good against trips formation. So right here, I'm going to go use it at um, deep crosser myself. He's going to try to playmaker him up. Thankfully, my man stays with him so he doesn't get glitched out. So right here, we got second and five. And right there, it's okay. So this defense, um, they're going to be able to dink and dunk a little bit. So it's not going to stop just literally every single thing. But look at that. Look at the run defense that we can generate out of that. And that's why this formation is so deadly. And make sure you stay tuned to after this video. As right there, yes, he does have them open. But you got to think, um, we are still rushing three. And the way that their rushing angles are, they're going to be able to uh, get there a whole lot faster. So right there, we do scream at him. But that that's not that was one four six right there. So don't get confused with that. So right here, first and ten. Um, right there, I know it looked like a bailout, but I kind of know how to throw it to where it's not a pick. Um, although I did have my post if I would have had it. So right there, I am going to throw that again because, like I said, I can throw it um, without it getting picked most of the time. But right there, unfortunately, he's unable to complete it. So we got third and three. So right there, we do kind of make a bad read so right here i'm trying to get comfortable i'm not really comfortable right now because uh at the point in this time i had not played madden in a little while i was really focused on forex a lot so i was kind of rusted as you can tell already coming out the gate so right here first and ten and i had a circle but i don't know what that was just like he just got cheated right there like um it's crazy how hard he just got cheated because we, we both got cheated okay circle was open but for some reason they just did not let me throw it but it is what it is at this point so third and ten we are going to have r1 right there and i only threw that because i do have have, I believe that slot of medic I put on him or route runner um route technician 
So right there, first and ten. He's not gonna put nobody in the flat, so I am gonna dump it off my flats. Take my flats right there. So right now we're looking good. Second and two. I'm going to try to run the ball, get in there. But this is why I don't run the ball. I have Derrick Henry. There is no way that should be tackling me. But anyways, third and four. We are gonna throw a little RPO, and we will get in for the touchdown. And also, let me know if y'all want me to drop uh, a trips tight end update because that formation is still really good. But you just can't run it like the way I was showing y'all. It's right there. Like I said, just putting our person in a perfect position. Like I said, I'll be breaking down exactly how I like to defend trips and doubles type of formation so first and ten right here i do have i had r1 wide open but i decided to throw my drag route just because that's the safest option for me um so we got second and five right here and right there i called him in cover two so i am going to go ahead and toe tap get my feet down and what a great catch right there by who else henry rugg so we got first and ten right here uh, i had square wide open but i just didn't want to throw it i didn't want his user to do you know get an animation and i throw a pick obviously so right here, this is actually a play i've been trying out and i'm actually kind of liking it because inside of my formation there's actually a wide receiver screen but it's kind of hard you have to like time it up well you can't just throw it or they're just going to do a weird animation where like the receiver's going to catch and he's going to like go backwards first i don't even understand it but i found out if i just wait a half a second then it allows the blocks to form and allows him not to glitch out basically but right here we do got first and ten i want to talk about the defense right here so he tried that i don't know how that's not a pick but that is trey boston i think trey boston has like 87 speed or something like that so he's uh, way too slow out there so right here first and ten um that was actually just a really nice play that was a really really nice play so as y'all can already start to understand the defense i'm telling you about it is man coverage yes but i'm showing you how to do the back end adjustments to stop some of the meta passing plays out of these trips and doubles formation so if you're interested in that please stay tuned and you will be able to have the sauce man so right there i did have circle but I, I was playing really conservative this game to be honest with you there's a lot of things that i would normally throw but this game i just didn't there's right there look at that this is why philip rivers finna have to be off my team bro look i had him why i had him wide open i know y'all seen there was nothing but green grass out there he just could not get the football out there and if you can't make that throw i'm sorry you cannot be on the team but um anyways we got first and team. we do throw a nice dot right there so now our offense starting to click a little bit so i realized his user is not going to be fast enough to uh be able to run with mar uh valdez scantley um so he has 93 speed and we do get a fortunate animation and so we are just able to walk in the end zone so it is 21 7 we start to take a command and lead and right there um thankfully thankfully he got a pressure because that was actually a really good route combo what he did so he ran like a deeper kind of crosser i'm not sure exactly what that is i think that was out of pa crosser i think it's the second crosser that's actually able to get that far deep that's right there 30 and 18 i do decide to dial up the blitz and we do come home right there so it's uh, fourth down he ended up putting us the ball so now we got first and 10 and we had our crosser uh but he went over there using it so i took my slant just a simple read right there so now we got first and 10 now i'm looking at r1 but then i no, i did throw that okay so i threw it to r1 thankfully we got a good animation so thankfully he did not pick that so as you can tell we are pretty much dotting right here so we got first and 10 i have circle just screaming wide open and that's one thing i do like about philip rivers he cannot throw a deep ball to save his life but if it's short or medium he's putting it on the money almost every single time so right here we do got first and 10 i think we got a turnover i actually don't remember i wasn't looking i was looking at y'all but right there we do take the shot and somehow henry ruggs just absolutely ags them so just henry ruggs might be the best player on, on uh cfl uh besides tyreek hill tyreek hill still goaded but henry ruggs has to be right up under him so right here we do got first and 10 trying to see who we got open right there the corner route oh we can't catch the ball but anyways we got second and 10 so who's open we got r1 so that was an excellent read so he did man it up but for some reason the magic 21 you run, when you man up somebody they don't play like they're supposed to and that's why we're able to get through so right there we do decide to send some pressure out of the 146 which i already gave y'all so right here second and 19 you know he does take the shot and that's my fault that's completely my fault uh i didn't realize that was dk metcalf and there's no way he's going to be able to keep up with him so like i said my defense is a man based but it's the only you can run pretty much any coverage but i like to base it out of man coverage and then uh ju adjust zones accordingly and i'll go over all that after the video well not after the video but after the gameplay i should say because i wanted to show you how the gameplay just so you see it works you see it's good you see it's not just me like trying to come up with something and say hey go run this you know so right there third and 16 like i said fourth down um i am going to end up punting the ball because it doesn't make sense for me to try to go for it's fourth and 16 um and he could still come back so i wanted to play this smart it's right there we get a monster hit stick man i wish it was like madden 20 when you hit six somebody you get a fumble i've yet to see like hit stick fumbles uh, let me know if y'all seen them yet because i've yet to see it and right there that's what i was worried about right there um so you remember way back in the game i told you it was open but he just overthrew it um i was hoping he never went back to it which he did so 
uh, that's gonna be my last time giving him that and like I said I'm gonna teach y'all all about that just how to adjust off your opponent right there boom he tried to be aggressive with his user he tried to come down and we threw it right over the top of his head and that's Henry Ruggs and nobody better not catch him with 98 speed so right there easy easy touchdown with Henry Ruggs so we do got first and 10 right well he has first and 10 right here he wanted that angle out and look at this like like I said this defense just I mean things just happen like that you know um we all know how overrated man coverage is but when you add in some key zones then it's gonna allow your man coverage to be a lot better so right here we are gonna throw our little rpo bubble i thought we was gonna be able to outrun him but uh obviously it wasn't so right there i do decide to come and run a slot and i decided to run over one trap and we do get an end zone right there so like i said we got first and ten he's gonna throw that this time um I, I believe he threw it just because he didn't think i would pick it twice which he guessed right right here so you can see my coverage right here so what i did was i put a deep half on that right side and i put a yellow i mean not yellow <laughs> i put a um flat zone on that left side and i go over all that like when my zone drops and all that stuff at so look at that right there so i mean that's just cmc doing cmc things i can't really do anything about that all i can say is great run by cmc and uh hopefully just don't get no more of those so right here uh, he does go for the two and he does not have a nice die I, I was i was wrong either way just because of the defense i ran so either way i was going to be giving up something and as you can see we actually do end up giving derrick henry the ball i know pretty amazing huh so right here we got a second and two i was looking for the beater it wasn't there and that should have been a pick honestly so i don't like i said i don't know what's going on with this game <laughs> so i don't know but that should have definitely been a pick so right here i did have r1 ride open but i also had my flat route but i just decided to go r1 i'm trying to get adam, adam thielen some yards i feel bad because I, I don't always get to get him yards it's right there i was hoping we could maybe get a fortune animation but we don't but it's all cool so we got a second and ten um i see my post wide open so i'm gonna go ahead and take that normally i do possession that so if you ever run a post i normally recommend possession it because they do a lot of knockdown animations right there boom i don't care if he's lighting up a star i'm still gonna throw it right in front of him just because i know he's not gonna be able to make that play so i ain't gonna try to run it with derrick henry right here i'm trying to get him more yards trying to find a way to get him yards so this is the screen play i was telling you about like it it's kind of like glitchy but not a good glitchy so it's like i like to mix it in just very very uh frequently not frequently but very very not frequently <laughs> Oh man, I can't be talking sometimes, y'all. Uh, so we just got first and ten. We are gonna scream at him right here. So, um, like I said, Rudy Ford, I put him right there because I was I had to give him a dev upgrade, and they said I had to get two or more sacks. So that's why you see now he does have three sacks and he does have a pick on this game. So Rudy Ford is gonna be a superstar X factor at the end of this game. So I'm hype about that. And as Garden Minshew just kind of starting to shred me now, and at least right now he's kind of starting to put dots together because for some reason I guess my team already knew they won, so they're trying to take plays off. It's right there. Guess who's gonna scream at him right there, Rudy Ford? And like I said, this is still one of the best defenses in the game, and not too many people know about it. But it's slowly starting to become meta at this point. So if you're not using it, I highly recommend you start using it. So right here is third and 24. As you can see, I was coming out 146. So you see, I got 501 calls out of it, and I only give up 5.6 yards of carry. And as y'all know, that is solid because this is not run defense. This is pass defense has defense so you see right here he's gonna come out and gun bunch and so i honestly feel like i have one of the best gun bunch defenses and i'll kind of go over exactly what i do in one of these videos i know i haven't done it yet but i will actually plan on going over so right there as you can see uh he was trying to hurry up and then um get his adjustments in i wasn't able to get all of my adjustments in i normally do but we do end up securing the dub right there so as you can see we did have 474 passing yards we had um 12.2 yards per carry and we also had two takeaways he only had 245 passing and he only had i think 65 rushing yards so let's go and look at this ad. so you see philip rivers 23 for 35 44 six touchdowns we actually didn't manage to throw a pick but i should have threw two of them not even gonna lie to you so he did have two rushes 61 yards um with cmc but one of those was like a 40 something yard game so look at that henry ruggs 10 receptions 251 yards four touchdowns so obviously he was the star of the game and we just still ended up getting some other receivers involved a little bit so i'm gonna go over some of the upgrades that i do get this game and after that make sure y'all stay tuned because if you want to know exactly how i was running my defense then stay tuned so right here like i said rudy ford the goat uh, if you don't have a Rudy Ford in your fantasy CFL, make sure you get him because dude is goaded. So I am going to upgrade his own coverage because I don't use him all the time. So I want to get his zone as high as possible. So you see he's already star grade. So you see it does that 92 speed, 71 zone. And uh, Tory McTire, he's actually somebody that I, I use in certain formations. So I wanted to upgrade his run support. So he does have pursuit now. And so as you can see, view message, breakout player. And guess who we got? 
Rudy Ford, who's now superstar the development trait, which means that we can get some abilities on him. So I'm excited to see what kind of abilities I can actually get and see exactly which abilities I want for him. So that's actually huge because he's only like 70 something overall. Yeah, 71 overall and he's already getting abilities. So I am going to probably choose... I'm probably gonna choose Tackle Supreme because you can never go wrong and you know how hard it is to tackle on Madden so I'd rather go Tackle Supreme and I cannot wait before I can unlock his other ability. I believe I do unlock that ability at 85. Alright so as y'all can see right here we I am in practice mode. This is gonna be a super super quick uh, video basically. So it's gonna be super super quick just because I already know this video has been going on for about 12-13 minutes or so so I don't want to make this a 30 minute video. So basically this defense can shut down pretty much any shotgun run in the game almost. As long as it's something not like a um, quarterback design run and things of that nature, you could try it, but I'm not sure. I haven't really ran against it. And I don't really call the defense if they come out with something like to where they can run like a quarterback type of run. So uh, read option, it can still work against, by the way. I'm just talking about more of like college style offenses. So anyways, the, the defensive formation is going to be dime two three six Sam. So right now I am in the Dolphins playbook. So um, this is in other playbooks. So just make sure you look at your playbook and see. It can work with any. It doesn't have to be two three six Sam. It could be like two three six Will. I know that's in a couple. So just you want to make sure you look. Anyways, as far as personnel wise, you want to make sure you have good dominant pass rushes. These three positions, obviously, because we're only going to be rushing three. Now right here, I recommend having speed. Now you can put in safety. So if you have fast safeties, go ahead and put them in. But Devin White has ninety one speed. I believe. Believe, so that's why he's staying right here and also right here you do want somebody who has great speed and also man coverage so right here i do have adrian uh, adams or oh, andrew adams i should say i have andrew adams now if you want you could put levante david here but i'm just not just because i'm going to be putting him in a man coverage he's going to be on responsible for the running back nine times out of ten unless you want to do some other things with him which i'll get into in a second here so down two three six the play we're going to be talking about is going to be cover two man but before i do go into that make sure we go on a coach's judge that's the most important part so you want your flat set at 25 you want your curl flats at zero and you want your hook curls at 10 yards and i'll explain why i like that so there it is one more time just so you know i'm not, not moving too fast this is it right here now let's go back to dime two three six sam and we're gonna call cover two man so right here we're gonna come out trips tight and offset and we're gonna come well i'm gonna put an audible here i want to show y'all inside zone i want to show y'all I want to show you how it does against the RPO bubble. So if they want to do that, I'll show you what you need to do against that. And PA Vert. So like I said, this is only going to be about a five minute video, if even that. Well, five, five minutes left of the video. So now let's come on PA Crossers. So um, the first play I do want to talk about is going to be inside zone. I just want to come out PA Crossers just so when I need it. So I do want to talk about the run and also the setup. So for the setup, you want to press R1 and you want to pinch your defense like this. Now from here, you want to take this safety put him in an inside third like this now with this blitz in person you want to take him and put him in a curl flat remember our curl flats are set at zero yards now right here i like to call over the top and i like to uh i don't like to pass command i just like to call over the top now this is going to be your user so you typically want somebody fast right here to be a user now on the run fit you want to shoot down and shoot for this angle right here between these two gaps right here you, you'll see it as, as it opens up so let me see if i can show you right here so you want to run and then you'll be able to meet them in the backfield you'll be able to do that pretty much every single time i'm only going to run it one more time and then we're going to move on so again you want to pinch your defense take this guy put him in the inside third do uh, you want to call him in a, a purple not call but you want to put him in a purple now you want to take him bring him down some because it's your user and you want to call over the top now if you see they have dk metcalf or whoever if they if you see they have somebody fast on the outside right here you can manually back them off which i highly recommend so you want to tap triangle tap x tap square and hit back off but i touched him so that's why he's not going to move because i, I touched him so let's say i want to do triangle to so see how now i can bring him off so if they have somebody fast right there that's how you do that and you can do the same thing but reverse it to uh, bring them back to press so that's just a, a good tip right there now let's say they try to id you um not sure actually because i don't think i had nobody id me oh i forgot to switch to play actually so um anyways oh wow that's pretty glitchy right there but anyways uh i'm not gonna spend too much time on that just know that's how you shoot the gap on the runs because uh like i said i know y'all got things to do and i know y'all are excited to get get with this defense so next thing i do want to talk about is going to be rpo so if they start running rpo i'll show you different things i like to do against it so you see right here um whoops that was my fault i was trying to actually see if they was actually gonna cover that so sometimes they cover it sometimes they don't but i will show you again right here and i, I mainly want to talk about the pass but i'm showing you run just because just so you can see it does a good job against the run so 
Uh, let me see if I can actually throw that this time. So you see how that time they actually kind of are able to play it a little bit. So that'll happen. But if you want to make sure they do play it, just take your linebacker and just kind of buff him out some. So let's say they want to throw that, but for some reason they're catching it. Um, you can either bump this guy out right here, and then you could put him. You could put him about right there, and then then you could pass commit. So that way he's actually going to play it. So let's go to RPO. So let's say we pass commit right. And now they try to run it. So now I want to shoot this gap. And then um, right there, I was trying to look to see. But you want to be able to shoot the gap and stop it in the backfield um, if you can. Or you just want to contain it. But anyways, I just want to talk about coverages so far. So I'm just kind of show you what I like to do against the run. So right here, I am going to talk about, of course, PA crossers. So a typical setup that you'll see people do is this right here. It's a setup I use sometimes. Uh, didn't mean to put my running back. So they'll, they'll run a setup like this where they motion this guy across and put him on a slant so one of the things i like to do to counter this so let's say we press call over the top like we normally do so one of the things i like to do to counter this i'll take this guy put him in a curl flat now i'll shade down to put him in a um hard flat and i'll shade up so shade the back over the top i feel like helps your uh, defensive backs play better because i feel like if you shade down you can probably get beat deep so i like to just shade down shade up now right here um i like to use it this guy but i don't like to show it immediately so what I'll do, I'll wait for him to motion, and then I'll still act like I'm right here in that last second. I'll switch on him, because then they're going to snap the ball, boom, and then you want to play that backside slant, and then, as you see right there, they're not going to be able to throw that concept. Now, if they start trying to throw other things, such as this deeper post by triangle, what you can do is um, you can essentially just drag him down, and then he'll just be able to play that right there. Now, what you can do, you can take circle and put him in a cloud. So our cloud, they're playing at 25, right? And then I would take him and man him up. So I'd probably run something like this. Or if you want to, well, actually, I would I would probably run something like this. And I would use this guy, call over the top. So you might be thinking, why is that? So if they run like a level sale type of play, then the running back's going to be accounted for. And then they won't be able to throw this tight end route on the break. And then he'll be able to play this triangle route that's deeper. So because they can always try to run something, you know, maybe like, maybe something like this. Where I'll show you here in a second. Let me try to run it like this and then try to hit triangle over the top. So then um, you can just switch right here, of course. You know, boom, what do you see? Come right here. And then look, you still have a pressure. And now there's just there's just nowhere to go. So anyway, that's a quick, quick breakdown of my defense. And let me know if you enjoy it. It's really good. It's really solid. So anyway, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I appreciate all y'all who checked out my video. And anyways, y'all have a blessed day. I'm Rage Real and I'm out.